Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Jade and Adrian Isis about Metal Lords, premiering April 8th on Netflix. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Yep. Oh, I love the film. I'm a big metal fan, and I love the film. Uh, I have questions for all three. Jane, we'll start with you. I mean, PD Beats, I'm a drummer. That's where I got my nickname, basically. You had to learn drums for this part. What can you tell us about like learning to play drums for this role? Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I <laughs> had no prior experience with the drums, so was, I was a little intimidated by them, um, but but soon you realize it's just... it's it's uh, It's easy to get started because it's really just smashing as hard as you can. Uh, I mean, there's some, there's obviously you have to learn how to do it with grace, mm-hmm. but um, I, I really studied, there's like three songs that we play in this film. So I really, really studied them. I worked with Glenn Sobel um, and uh, Timmy Spitsticks. It was a, it was a good time. I, I'm, I'm a, I was definitely addicted to the drums. Absolutely. I says, Emily is a very, like a lot of characters in this, there's a lot of complex characters in this. This is a, she's a very powerful character. What's your favorite thing about Emily playing Emily in this film? I mean, my favorite part of playing her was getting to go crazy. That was really, <laughs> I don't get to do that in my life really ever. So that was, yeah, very freeing to just be able to just go mad, you know? Um, no. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Adrian, we see it in the trailer, you know, the centerpiece of this kind of film and the plot is there's a battle of bands coming up, basically, and they're trying to put the band together. Um, They're going to see the battle of band scene. What can you tell us about that epic battle of band scene? I mean, it was amazing. Is there anything you can tell us about filming that? That's so cool. (laughs) That was maybe the most fun on set. It was insane. (laughs) It was really, really insane. Um, uh, It took three days. Um, and the Battle of the Band scene in School of Rock was like one of my favorite things ever. As that's a my favorite movie of all time. Yeah, maybe I mean, that's I, why I like this movie. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it was doing that was. <laughs> it's maybe it's a bit silly, but it was very emotional. It was kind of crazy. So yeah, Jaden, I want to know: was there a little bit of like familiarity with metal music before the mo- this film as well? Like, did you listen to metal? Did you have a knowledge? Do you have relatives that listen to it? I'm curious about that. Yeah, a tiny bit. Like yeah. my best friend, my childhood best friend, he he was into metal a little bit, so I got into it. But I was definitely not fully immersed, yeah. um, and I didn't have a, a an appreciation for the genre until doing this. Isis, are, are, is it safe to say, are you a metal fan after making this film, would you say? Yeah, I would def- <laughs> don't like quiz me because I would fail miserably. <laughs> after making this movie, I definitely like appreciate metal far more than I ever used to before. It's quite an incredible genre. I think it's really awesome. And Andrew, they're going to see it like when you're in like the band room and everything, all the posters, like... Does it blow your mind how many like different like there's so many bands, so many kind of different genres of metal? It's pretty crazy, Adrian. Yeah, it's insane. It's it's cool. It shows that there's a lot of room within the big genre for many different things to happen. That's awesome. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Jane, basically, before we wrap up, um, when people get to see the film, what are you hoping they get out of it, takeaway wise? Would you say? Um. Well, I mean, it, it's really about friendship. This movie. It's yeah. about these three people and um and and has to do with jealousy and love and and loyalty um so i hope people i mean all you can hope is that people want to be good human beings after seeing your movie <laughs> um i do after making it and, and working with these two no i i it, it's yeah it, it's a very it's a very loving cute movie and uh i hope people enjoy it but yeah, I agree. And I hope they also love, like, get familiar with mu- with metal and check out metal because I really hope that. But I wanted to thank you all for your time. Metal Lords, April 8th on Netflix. People are going to be able to see it. Thank you all for your time. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. 
Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.